this is a character all in itself, and it must have been so fun for you, ladies. So tell me a little bit about that. Um, we only shot in Paris for like four days, actually. Yeah, we shot in Budapest and Monte Carlo the rest of the time, which was not that bad either. Oh, can't no. complain. But it was really fun. We're really fun. It was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to kind of go to all these places for the first time, too. I mean, I've been to Paris before, but I've never been to Monte Carlo or Budapest. It was fun. I'd never been up in the Eiffel Tower when we went up at really? the top. Yeah, when the sun was rising, we had to get up at like 3 a.m. so that it was all closed just for us. Right. It was it's really... really Beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh. So insane. But yeah, the movie are not so insane at the beginning, and like, you know, this, this sort of develops, and you guys kind of grow within your characters. I mean, talk about the dynamic of that relationship. I, I feel like so many, like, girls can relate to that, and at the end, that sort of sisterly thing just sort of happens for you guys. So talk a little bit about that. Um, well, it took a long time, but <laughs> um, no, well, cool. our first scenes were, like, when we weren't supposed to like each other so much, and we just didn't know each other, so... It worked, mm -hmm. but um, I yeah. do think I'm sure like that subject is that, that actually is one of my favorite things about the movie is because so many people can relate to that single family and then kind of marrying into it and you get to see a really fun arc between our characters. It's nice. It was a journey of my life too, and um, like meeting the girls and this one it was really <laughs> just the most amazing time, and I grew so much as a person, but. The character starts off really kind of uptight and real dorky, to be honest, um, which is not too far off. But um, and then it, she she goes on this journey with her friends, and she really grows to love them and learn from them and sort of see her own faults. And then she falls in love. Yay! And yeah, it's really it's cool. She becomes free. I like that. I like sort of her transition and playing Grace. Playing two types of Grace: the main Grace and or laid back Texas Grace. How was that doing dual roles? I actually kind of feel like I played three. Just because I was playing Grace and then I was playing Cordelia, then I was playing Grace as Cordelia. So I was kind of in the middle of all of it and I never knew who I was playing <laughs> that day. But it was really fun. I think it was nice to kind of have that whole contrast of someone who was nice, who was just kind of trying to make the best out of every situation. And then you have the Cordelia, who's just walking evil, she just tears so up the mean. She, she so was, mean. but she was my favorite kind of mean. She was just like it wasn't necessarily her words; it was just her demeanor and the way she looked at people. It was really funny. It was kind of funny when you came on set like dressed back into Grace, because it'd be like we just had the scene with you. You. <laughs> <laughs> mean you, not funny you at all. That's awesome. Good. And you had a lot of fans. I heard like following you around when you were filming, I mean, and, and kind of, they would just go from like set to set and location. I mean, was that cool seeing like the outpouring of, of fans coming out to support you guys? No, it was even, it was actually funny is nobody in Budapest ever, like ever really kind of bothered us. It was kind of cool. Then we went to Paris and Monte Carlo, which I had no idea people would even know about the movie or anything. So it was nice to see them come support. It was sweet.